there. Thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Skincare Saturday. Uh, we are ranking, well, I am, not we, but you're here, so we. I'm ranking um, all five self-tanners that I've been using, trying, all that kind of stuff. So if you'd like to see from best to worst, all that kind of stuff, what I'd recommend, please keep on watching. This project took a pretty long time, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm going to be a tanned goddess all s summer long just because I have a ton of self tanner. So I'm going to go ahead and just start, like I said, with the best one that I have tried and I'd have to give it to the Bondi Sands Arrow um, self tanning foam. This stuff was great. It gave a really pretty tan. It was really streak free. One of the cons though is six hours. You have to leave this on for six hours. Uh, it does dry down probably the best out of all the self tanning stuff that I did try, not counting like the lotions, like the Jergens natural glow and stuff, but like actual, like instant self tanner, you know what I mean? Instant. You don't have to wait days for it to show up. This was the best out of all those, but it also took the longest. So six hours, that's a long time. Um, so. <laughs> It's really pretty, nice shade. Um, I did double coat, so it wasn't too dark, but it was just deep enough. Like that's what I'm wearing right now. Um, it's fading a little bit, but really, really good stuff. I do like this stuff a lot. And um, I'm glad that there, the can does feel pretty full because this is my favorite like instant self tanner. So really, really good stuff, pretty affordable. Um, so yeah. All right, the next one I'd have to give it to is the B Tan 2 Tan to give a damn. This stuff is really, really pretty. It got me really dark. This is the second to darkest, so there's one that is darker than this. But this is a one hour self tanner. You can leave it on up to four hours to get like super, super tan. Really, really lovely. I do like this a lot. Um, I had, did not try this because I didn't feel like anybody would be really interested in seeing this, but this is the Tanned AF, so this is a shade less. So the two tan to give a damn, it is four out of five dark level, and this is three out of five. So this is a step down from the two tan to give a damn. Um, this would be a great transition shade when you're going from like super dark down to like your early fall color. This is lovely. I bet this is gonna be lovely, but I do like this a lot. Four hours uh, to be super dark. This did get me darker than this. So this did this does get pretty dark. Um, but really, really good as well. I do like this a ton. Um, I've also learned to go slow. Um, when I'm filming, I try to like do things quickly so that way people don't get bored. I don't have to do a ton of editing, all that kind of stuff, but people are like, take your time. And I'm like, okay. So I think that's why this did give me such good results, but this is really, really pretty. And I do like it a lot. And yeah, I do like that it's two hours less than the Bondi Sands, but there's just something about this one that ease of use and pretty streak free, but I'm going to be redoing this one as well and going slow to see if I can get pretty streak free with the BTN 2 tan to give a damn. And once again, they do have different shades. So the tan AF is, you know, three out of five darkness level. The um, two tan to give a damn is four out of five. So, but really, really pretty, even on someone like me that is naturally pretty pale. So Okay, so the Jurgens Natural Glow. This is beautiful, absolutely stunning, nice scent. Um, it dries down pretty quickly. Like I feel like I can get dressed 10 minutes after I put this on just to make sure that, you know, um, pretty streak free, really, really nice. Um, I did get the medium to deep. Um, so I did see um, tanning color before the three days, but really, really nice. Um, I do like this. I like that it's in a pump, so I just keep it on my bathroom counter. Really, really nice. Oh, and by the way, you can layer. So if you start getting patchy from like your instant self tanner, you can go in and start this and start layering and it will help kind of fill in those gaps and extend your foam or spray tan, whatever. So this is lovely and I like this a lot. Honestly, out of all of these, I would probably repurchase this and I'll tell you why. Just because this is so easy. This is so easy. I don't have to like put it on and then wait four hours or six hours and shower. I dry off, put this on, get dressed like 10 minutes later, I'm good to go. It's not instant. It's going to take a few days to show up, but it's just so easy. It's lovely. I absolutely love this. Definitely, definitely recommend. All right. So 
This one isn't bad. I just had to put them in order. Uh, it's pretty light, uh, which is good. If you're extremely pale, this is the one for you. If you tried self tanners and you're like, they're too dark, they're too orange, all that, then the Australian Gold Instant Sunless Spray is for you. Really, really pretty, quick drying, streak free, nutrient rich. Um, you put this on and then don't spray it on, like put it on with a mitt, but um, you'll have like the full results within 24 hours. Really, really pretty though. Um, and like I said, if you're extremely, extremely pale, this would be a great option for you. You can use this on your face as well as the Arrow by Bondi Sands. You can use it on your face. So I kind of like this is all in kind of one. Um, and like I said, if you're extremely pale, great option. Uh, this would be a great option for me during my winter months, just because it is such a natural looking tan. It doesn't even look like a tan, if that makes sense. It is, there's, there's something there, but it is very light. So if you are any deeper than me, like my natural color, this probably wouldn't work for you. But if you're my shader lighter, this is a really, really good product. I do like it a lot. And lastly, you already know what it is, and I do not recommend this one. I have been mixing it, like I said I was going to, the Neutrogena Build a Tan. This stuff is so streaky, it's just, no, I don't like it. Um, I have been making, mixing it with my Jurgens, and I do feel like it does help. So I do have two other bottles of this. I'm going to use it up. Um, the Jurgens definitely helps to make it not as streaky. Um, still, even mixing it with the Jurgens, Jurgens it is takes a long time to dry down. It is very, very sticky. Um, really hard to blend in where you're not missing spots. This is by far the worst self tanner I've ever used. Not even counting like during this little, little series of self tanners. This is by far the worst I've ever tried. Um, it says it dries down in five minutes. It's not true. Um, I feel sticky for hours after using this. So no bueno, don't like it, don't recommend it, skip it. If you're looking for like a moisturizer, like self-tanning gradual moisturizer, go with the Jergens. I know there's other brands out there if you wanna go with something a little bit more high end, you know, but go with the Jergens if you're looking for a drugstore, skip out on the Neutrogena Build-A-Tan. It's just really, really bad. So like I said, I've been mixing it with the Jergens. It does help, I'll be able to get through the three bottles, but I would never, ever, ever buy this again. Ever. on sale or not free no 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 um, and then lastly I was gonna do a full video on this but we'll go ahead and just plop these in um, my little tanning mitts the um, I can't pronounce this anyway it's called the Celicilli or something like that it's from Amazon anyway it came in a three pack so you get the back one the full size and then the detail or face mitt these are lovely, um, washes really, really nicely, very soft. It does have the waterproof liner um, on the big one, and I believe on the little one. Uh, yes, big one and little one both have the waterproof liner, so that way the tanner isn't gonna seep through and stain your palms. The back piece is really easy to use. Yeah, if you're looking for an affordable tanning set, I would definitely go with this brand. Um, it is absolutely lovely. Love it, love it, love it. So definitely, definitely recommend it. So that is my self tanning roundup. Um, I really did enjoy it. It was really, really fun. I, like I said, in multiple videos of the self tanning series, I do have a lot of respect for people that they do this every day. Like this is their regular routine. I can definitely see, I'm definitely going to be keeping up with it during the summer just so that way I don't look as ghostly pale, especially since I'm going to be wearing a lot of sunscreen since I'm going to be like walking to and from bus stops for work. But it was fun, but I do have a lot of respect for people that do this on the regular basis. I, I give it to you because some of these are not easy. So, but it was fun and I enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you found this little series helpful in picking a good self tanner that is drugstore priced. Um, like I said, I know that there's lots of ones out there and some of them can get pretty pricey. So I really enjoyed this, like I said, but anyway, there we go. Um, I can no longer... Thanks YouTube, thank you. I can no longer like put products right here, you know, in the corners, uh, they took that away. So, and Sean's busy. So go on, go on Amazon and, and search these. Um, they're really good, except for the Neutrogena Build a Tan, skip that one. But anyway, there we go. Uh, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that jazz. Let me know down below in the comments. 
Um, if you self tan, what brand do you use? I'd love to know down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week, all about budget beauty. Um, it's not just physical beauty. It's, uh, the inside, your home, your wallet, all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe and I appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start out of playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax and enjoy. And I'll see you all here in just a sec. <laughs> 